Namaste, friends. This is Heather Wiest with Love, Serve, Inspire. And today I'll be guiding you through a daily warm up, a great stretch routine for mobility and body warm up. For today's practice, you may like to have a towel or a blanket for extra cushion for the knees and two blocks available if needed. I'm here to guide you, but you are always your best teacher. So please listen to your body, stay safe, and have fun. We're gonna begin on all fours in tabletop position. Spreading the fingers wide, shoulders over the wrists, the hips over the knees, we're gonna come into cow and cat movement. So as you inhale, bring the head and the heart forward, the belly drops. Exhale, rounding in, looking back. We're gonna take four more here, inhaling up for your cow pose. Exhale for cat. Add in any additional movement that feels good here for you. You can wag the hips, big hip circles. Full deep breaths, really creating some space in the spine. One more here with your breath. Finding neutral table pose. We're gonna take a dynamic shoulder thread the needle. As you inhale, take the left arm, sweep it out to the side. Exhale, thread it underneath the body without grounding it down. Inhale, sweeping up. Exhale, threading under, finding your range of motion. One more here and then we're gonna land. We'll take that arm down, left cheek, ear temple to the earth. Extending the right arm more forward or wrapping behind the back. Two more breaths. And slowly bringing the right hand back. We'll come back to table pose, taking that on the other side. Inhale, take the right arm up. Exhale, thread it under without grounding. Inhale up, let this feel good in your body. Exhale, threading under. One more round up, and then we'll land this time. We'll take the arm under, right cheek, ear, temple to the earth. Left arm coming more forward or wrapping behind the back. Two breaths. And then we'll slowly arise back up to table pose. We're gonna ground the hands down, preparing for a downward facing dog. Tuck the toes under as you exhale the hips up and back. Finding a nice spot for you, hips to the sky, pushing away, tops of the thighs drawing back. Now we're gonna come into an up dog here. You're gonna drop to the knees for another cow pose. So I'm gonna shift forward drop the hips all the way down, releasing the tops of the feet, or you can come into that table pose with the cow shape. And then your exhale will be downward facing dog. So we're gonna do four more of those. Inhale forward, finding that up dog, let it feel good. So not quite a classic up dog, I'm letting my legs land and get a big stretch for my hip flexors. Your exhalation, downward facing dog. Take three more rounds on your own. Let this feel good. Opening through the front body and stretching it back as you take the thighs back. I'm gonna do two more here. So in all these stretches, doing them three to five times would be great depending on the amount of time you have. One more here. And this time coming to tabletop position. I'm gonna make my way onto my seat as I find a Z sit or 90-90 sit. I'm gonna take my left leg forward for video purposes today. My right leg tucking back. We're gonna take a dynamic stretch with some mobility work to the other side. If the mobility work doesn't work for you, you're just gonna take the stretch on the same side and then switch legs. So I'm gonna plant my hands down Push the shin into the earth to really feel the activation into my outer gluten hip. Exhale, bow in. Inhale, release. 
I'm gonna release my hands and pivot to the back of the mat and take this on the other side, pushing the shin down and bowing in. Inhale up and we'll take this two more rounds here. Push the shin down into the earth, resist as you bow in. Inhale, release. Release the hands if you can, challenging your mobility. And you notice that I'm gravitating a little bit off my mat, that will happen. We'll take one more round here. Bowing in as you resist. Inhale back. I'm gonna come back to the back of the mat again, other side, and again, if this pivoting doesn't work for your body, just take the stretches and then switch legs. Last time here. There we go. From here, we'll come on to hands and knees, coming into a dynamic low lunge half split. I'm gonna take the right leg forward, my left leg back any amount, again, use cushion as needed under the knee. So I'm gonna really push in forward and then push my heel into the mat, energetically drawing back into that half split. So four more rounds on this side, letting this feel good for your body, modifying as needed. Hmm. So just having that mindset of moving every day, warming up, especially before any activity, this routine is good for any activity that you're doing or just a general warm up. Last round here. And then when you feel ready, we're just gonna switch sides. So I'm gonna tuck that right knee back, bring the left foot forward, finding a low lunge. Hands can frame the foot or you can bring them on the inside of the foot, your choice. So bowing in and then resisting back. Any breath pattern that works for you, just breathe in each direction. Got three more here on this side. One more full breath. And then we'd like to close with a child's pose. So take your knees as wide as the mat, toes to touch, bowing down in, let the forehead ground. Inviting in an intention for your day, how you'd like to move forward with this day. Maybe it's a positive affirmation, a prayer. And then I invite you to take a side lean over to the right, any amount. Another breath here. And then a side lean over to the left. And returning back to center, really stretching the arms forward, the hips back, using cushion behind the knees as needed. And when you're ready, you're gonna walk the hands back. Maybe you take a few moments in meditation or prayer. It's always an honor and a pleasure to guide you. Thank you for joining me today. You can stay connected on my website, loveserveinspire.com. Much love and namaste.